everyone! It's Rachel again. I'm back and today I'm going to do the end of year book tag. So for me this is kind of fun because a year ago is when I really discovered that booktube existed. I was in between school semesters and looking for something to read, something interesting. I remembered, oh hey, there's some readathons. I've seen them before. And I was looking for a science fiction one and I found Meg who previously had the Tome Infinity and Beyond channel and I found G over at over and I found G over at Book Roast. And that started my interest and then I was like, "Ooh, there's a community of people who like books and who I could talk to about books. Yes, I want to be a part of this." And so, here I am. So, starting with the first question, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? And uh, better for me, or a better phrasing is like, are there books that you have previously started that you want to finish? And of course, I mean, my Goodreads, I was watching, I was watching a video on Pick Me Puff's channel where she was talking about her currently reading on Goodreads. And I went to go look at mine and I was like, I cannot do the same video as hers because I have a hundred and well, at the time I had 157. I now have 158 listed in my currently reading. So these are books that I was reading and most likely had to send back to the library. So put them on my currently reading so I'd remember where I was and just haven't gotten them back yet. Other books have come along and I've read those instead. So I'm not listing all 158, but my, but the last three that have been on, that had been put on that list are The Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie, Dragon Pearl by Yoon Han Lee, and War Girls by Tochi Onibuchi. Onibuchi. I apologize for butchering that. To be honest, since none of those three are on my current TBR for this month, I probably won't be finishing them this year. So question number two, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? And since I read a lot of science fiction and fantasy, seasons don't really dictate what I'm going to read. So no, I don't. I, or I know it's, we're almost into winter officially, but I don't have anything that would be specifically autumn. No, or question number three. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? And yes, I am still waiting for Black Sun by Rebecca Rowan Horse. I have requested it from my library and I think I might be eighth now I'm waiting for it. Question number four. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? And honestly, I'd be happy with any of the three books that are on my current December TBR. I'm going to link that video in the show notes so then you can go see because I, it's a very ambitious TBR. And then last question, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite? And for me, that would be Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Han Lee. I've deemed up this before and I'm giving it a second chance and it is currently on my December TBR. So, oh, sorry, that was, I was wrong. That was the second list to last question. This is the last question. Have you already started making reading plans for 2021? And not really. Um, I have made one goal since I've been this year. I've been using G over book uh, over at Book Roast's Copile rating system, and it also gives you the stats. And I've noticed that I read a lot of books from last year that was published. So since this is 2020, I read a lot of 2019 books, and not a lot of 2020. And so a goal I would like to do. For reading is to read at least one new release a, a month. And while that might not seem, it might not seem a lot to have 12, read, to read 12 books in 2021 that were published in 2021, it's a huge leap from what I've currently done this year, which is three books in 2020 published in 2020. So baby steps. And that is mine. Um, I've been looking forward to watching everyone else's video tags and I'll see you later on the booktube verse. Have a great day!